Hey guys, it's Jersey Girl 524. I just wanted to come on really quickly and let you guys know that I'm back on my smoothie tip. Yeah. So I have about three servings of the lovely green juice. Mm. I had been on a slight hiatus from um, juicing. Well, not juicing, but from green smoothies. So I'm back on track and mm, so good. So today's juice is um, a frozen banana, frozen strawberries, almond milk, uh, spinach, uh, some dates for sweetness, and some coconut oil. Mm. I didn't put any ice, which in retrospect I probably should have. It would be a little more chill than it is. But that's okay. It's still good. Um. So yeah, guys, it's really good. So, ooh, this was a bad mistake coming this way. Ugh. Traffic. So much for leaving early, right? Anyway, <laughs> back on the smoothie tip. Just a, a tip for you guys that are making um, green smoothies. Either using kale, spinach, collard. Uh, bok choy, swiss chard, whatever greens that you decide to use, always remember greens are kind of high, high in iron, but in order for the body to absorb the iron, you have to uh, pair it with um, vitamin C or some type of citrus. I was able to do that today by adding the strawberries because originally um, I was going to make the green smoothie with um, blueberries, but I changed my mind, so yeah. Um, anyway, it's so delicious, and most of my ingredients, hmm, with the exception of the almond milk, is organic. So it's organic baby spinach, organic strawberries, frozen strawberries, organic coconut oil, um, the almond milk is not organic, but um, I don't think you need organic um, almond milk. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Um, you know, as you know, almonds have an outer um, skin, which works as an inhibitor. So that's why you have to soak the almonds first before making the almond juice, which I'm sure... Um, was the procedure that was followed. I mean, can't swear, but I can be hopeful. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I've been really consistent with taking my vitamins. Um, well, not, I ran out of my multi, so right now I'm only taking um, a B complex which I have like un less than a week of pills left. So uh, next Friday, I guess I will be shopping for another uh, complex supplement. Uh, the other thing that I take religiously is biotin. Now, wow. now listen, I would prefer to go ahead. I would prefer to get my biotin from food, but sometimes that's kind of difficult, especially if you want to get um, the high dosage. So for now, I will continue to take the biotin as I've complained in numerous videos that my hair is very, very fine and thin, which I hate being so thin, especially when I flat iron, it looks just like strain, but that's another video. Anyway, um, yeah, so I take the biotin for thickness. Um, there's a couple of other things that I plan on doing, but, um, for purposes of this video, 
I've already swayed sort of off the subject about the green juice. Um, yeah, I'm loving it, guys. If you're interested, give this recipe a try. I will leave the um, ingredients down below in the description bar. Check it out. And make it for yourself and see for yourself. <coughs> and you don't have to use the exact ingredients I use. If you if you don't like strawberries, you can substitute with um, blueberries or blackberries. Um, yeah. Or do a mixture of both. Um, I just used uh, strawberries because um, I was aiming for that vitamin C you know, coupled with the grains that I mentioned earlier. Anyway, this is kind of a long video, so I'm going to talk with you guys later, and perhaps the next video that I'll make um, will be a deep conditioning or massage video. It's been a while. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a blessed one, and if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. would love to have you join in. Let me know if there's some things that you want me to talk about or address, either about green smoothies, um, uh, hair issues, or anything else, you know, I'm, I'm game. All right, talk to you guys later. Have a 